So how you be doing, Chase? I've been doing very well. Um, I've been looking forward to this all week. Uh, I've been I've been researching it so I can ask some relevant questions. <laughs> um, but I want to start off here. You mentioned you know this changes up your routine a little bit. How have you been staying entertained throughout this pause? Because really, it's not something we're familiar with. Oh, Chase is is really good question. So I um, uh, there's some days that are obviously. I couldn't even realize that I worked for like a lot of hours and I needed you probably my me time at home, even though I'm at home, but I'm trying to keep myself busy. And uh, let me say I succeed on that aspect. I probably now I need a little bit of rest. Right. <laughs> so, so I'll explain to you one thing that probably that could help you. Um, something I've, I've been good at is it's awareness and um, recognize my state of mind. Got so, it. So it's more of like psychologically. Uh, right. Psychological awareness. So during the first week when we, uh, we heard the news about the, the COVID-19 and the decision of the government to, to lock down, I just gathered the information. Uh, and I tried, you know, obviously to, to, I kept, you know, myself updated with the news on TV, on the social media and general news, see what's going on. Right. And then, and then from there, obviously it took me, I think it took me five days for me to realize the overall situation. And then, and then during that week, um, the end of that week, I had the time to put a plan. So it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I was like putting a plan, my personal plan and the club or the team plan. What is the most important thing for me and how, how, how I can keep you know, everyone you know, in reassured, um, how I can you know, provide the information to the, to the staff and players, but also how I can keep myself uh, entertained because I knew and everyone knew it was going to be long. Um, so, so this process is called the 4A. I learned this, you know, when I was in Southampton. Um, and the 4A as as accepting, assessing, adjusting, and applying. So this process, you can use it in everything you, you do during the, uh, during your, your school or during your challenges in any in any circumstances in any word so the first thing you accept so what i did is i accept that there is there is a virus you know and i have to accept i have to stay at home for a long right. period the second thing i assessed and i work and i i sat in front of the tv news talking to my family people friends Expert, you know, and gather information. And from there, I started to adjust. Adjusted my brain, my, my body, my, myself in general. And then from there, I applied. So the following week, I, I give the plan for the players, for the staff. And then I put a weekly program, personal program for myself to, to apply it. So... So I started the new activities like, uh, so one, one activity that I used to do, but I didn't have time when I was coaching, which is um, sport. So I do, I do five activity, five runs during the week, um, which is, I feel myself very fit. Um, also, I started to learn about, you know, vegetarian and, um, and now I feel like comfortable to, uh, apply it, which is has been nearly four weeks now. I've been applying vegetarian diet, and I feel much much better. Uh, I read books. Um, I'm learning about you know um, finance uh, in football sport, more of it, um, and also with that we do activity with the players. Um, that taken much time because because we do some video analysis. Chase. So we do a lot of video analysis, looking at the clubs, different teams, different games, and then we we refer to ourselves. So this is how I managed to 
to keep myself busy. And uh, there is some days I start 8.30, I finish 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the afternoon. By that time, I'm already knackered um, and then I need the rest, so I relax a little bit. Well, that's nice. Those are some incredible activities. Um, and you said the four A's that were accept, assess, adjust, and what was that last one? Apply. Apply. Okay. Those are, that's useful now. I'm, I'm glad you said that because you're right. That really can apply to any situation, really. So, yes, you, you can use it in, in every day, every minute. I think that the, especially when you're in school or in university or a work environment, you have to take decisions on, on a daily basis, on, on an hour basis. You have to make decisions, even the small decisions. I'm going this way, not this way. I'm taking this, this, this path or not this path. So for you to, to take that decision, the brain naturally, it will do that process. If you're aware of it, will make it more efficient. Uh, 